Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we're going to discuss the basics of triggering. So we want to learn more about the concepts behind triggering, and why is that? Well, not only is triggering a very in-depth and complex subject, but it is also one of the most fundamental and essential ideas behind an oscilloscope. Without a trigger, it is not possible to analyze a waveform with the many features our oscilloscope provides us. The trigger event establishes the time reference point in the waveform record. All waveform record data is located in time with respect to that point. And our oscilloscope continuously acquires and retains enough sample points to fill both the pre-trigger portion of the waveform displayed here before the trigger event, and the post-trigger portion of the waveform displayed here after the trigger event. After a trigger is recognized, our oscilloscope will not accept another trigger until the acquisition is complete and the hold-off time has expired. So we have a few controls for the basic functionality of triggering. Auto set, which will automatically set the vertical, horizontal, and trigger controls for a usable and stable display. Single, which we can select to make a single acquisition. Run stop, which will run acquisitions based on our hold off time and stop when we choose. Horizontal position, to adjust the trigger point location relative to the acquired waveforms. Force trigger, which is used to force an immediate trigger event. Trigger level, which can be used to adjust the trigger level, or if we push it, it will select the trigger level to the midpoint of the waveform. And lastly, trigger menu, which can be used to access some much more advanced trigger settings. So if we select our trigger menu, followed by trigger type, we can use multipurpose A to select our trigger type. And you can see we have a wide array of options to choose from. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support, or if you'd like to learn more about advanced triggering, please click on one of the links provided.